Jesus, who loves the children and youth. When we read what it teaches, we can receive heaven's truth. It tells us that the God above has a plan for this lost world. It tells us that this God of love cares for each boy and girl. I believe, I believe, I believe what Jesus says to me. I believe, I believe in the B-I-B-L-E. Hi friends, my name is Jonathan. And I'm his sister Michelle. Welcome to our program, I Believe, where we will learn all the basic beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Today, we are talking about marriage and the family. I really like that topic. It all started back in creation week. God had created so many wonderful things, and he looked at creation and said that the world was good. But then Adam began to feel lonely. There was no one to be a special friend. And that's when God said something was actually not good. He said, it is not good for man to be alone. So he made Eve and called creation very good. Jesus used this story to answer the Pharisees when they asked him about divorce. And he finished by saying, Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. He really wanted husbands and wives to be loyal and faithful to each other as long as they both shall live. Just like the pastor says after he pronounces a man and a woman husband and wife. Satan hates God's plan. So he attacks marriage in many ways. Divorce, polygamy, and other ways. He also loves to put people together who will fight and quarrel, make each other miserable, and tempt each other to sin. I wonder what we can do to avoid having a marriage like that. Let's look at the story of Isaac and Rebecca in the Bible. Growing up, Rebecca learned to be hardworking, unselfish, thoughtful, helpful, and cheerful. These qualities helped Rebecca to be kind to a stranger, which was an answer to the stranger's prayer. And led to a marriage proposal. When Isaac was young, he learned to submit to his parents. This prepared him to follow the counsel of his father in choosing a wife. And the Bible says that Isaac and Rebecca got married and Isaac really loved his wife. God also wants fathers and mothers to work together to raise godly children. The Bible gives many examples of godly parents. Let's look at the story of Hannah. Was it that Samuel's mother? Yes. She had been unable to have children, and when God blessed her with Samuel, she dedicated him to the Lord. She took him as a small boy to the temple and left him with Eli to help him in the sanctuary. And Hannah had trained Samuel so well that while he was still a boy, God called him to be a prophet. So does God have any instructions for us children? He dedicated a whole commandment to children. The fifth commandment says we should honor our father and mother. I guess that would also apply to our parents since they should also honor their mothers and fathers. When Jesus was on earth, he took special care of his mother. Even on the cross, he made sure to ask the Apostle John to take care of his mother once he was gone. God definitely has a wonderful plan for families to be like a little bit of heaven on earth. But sometimes peace is destroyed and families are broken. God can still do amazing things through people who grow up in broken homes. Like Jephthah, who was born because his father committed adultery. His half-brothers never accepted him and finally kicked him out of their house. Amazingly, God used these problems to prepare Jephthah to be Israel's deliverer. God can definitely turn difficult situations into a blessing. Our belief for today talks about marriage and the family. I believe marriage was made by the Lord from above, back when the world began. One man and one woman united in love, according to God's own plan. A Christian home is a wonderful place where children can learn of the Lord, where every day is bathed in grace, where we're learning to love Him more. Marriage.
bridge was made by the Lord from above Back when the world began One man and one woman united in love According to God's own plan A Christian home is a wonderful place Where children can learn of the Lord Where every day is bathed in grace Where we're learning to love Him more Marriage was made by the Lord from above Back when the world began One man and one woman united in love According to God's own plan A Christian home is a wonderful place Where children can learn of the Lord Where every day is bathed in grace Where we're learning to love Him more Ad Lease teaches a lot about God. Just like husbands and wives commit to stay together for life, God loves us with an everlasting love. Husbands should love their wives and sacrifice for them just like Jesus loves us and sacrificed himself for us. Wives should respect their husbands and follow their lead, just like we respect Jesus and follow his lead. Parents should love and care for their children, just like God cares for us like a loving parent. Children should obey their parents, just like we all should obey God. corner we are going to watch an egg drop here are the materials we need a raw egg a glass of water a piece of cardboard and an empty toilet roll first i will place the cardboard on top of the glass of water next i will place the toilet paper roll standing in the middle of the cardboard then i will balance the egg on top of the toilet paper roll so that the egg is lying on its side if i hit the side of this cardboard so that it falls off. Do you think the egg will go flying off the cardboard or land in the water? Let's see what happens. <laughs> that is Newton's first law of motion. And it says that an object at rest wants to stay at rest unless a force is applied to it. While the egg is balancing on the toilet roll, it is it moving? So even when you remove what is holding it, it ends up staying in the same place. This can illustrate the concept of marriage and the family. The egg is like the family unit. Sometimes we may go through difficult trials as a family, and at times our world may seem to crumble around us. But if we stay rooted in Jesus, he will help us through the most difficult moments just like the water protecting the egg from cracking. Jesus can keep our family together, even through trials and tribulations. Child, train up a child in 
object lesson is called teamwork. Have you ever heard of dogs being used to help deliver the mail? In the early 1900s, during the winter time in Alaska, dog sled teams were sometimes used to deliver the mail even when conditions were so bad that other ways of delivering the mail couldn't be used. A team of 8 to 10 dogs would pull a sled carrying hundreds of pounds of mail. Let's think about that for a minute. Think of all the dogs that live on your street. What do you think would happen if you got 10 of them together and harnessed all of them to one sled? Some dogs would try to go one way while the others would pull a different direction. A fight may break out between two dogs and there could be lots of snarling and growling. Why would it be that way? One big reason is that those 10 dogs that live on your street have never been trained to work together to pull a sled. To do a good job, all the dogs on the team have to learn to work together. This teaches us something very important about families. A husband and a wife should be a team. Parents and children should be a team. But this doesn't just happen by accident. It takes time and effort and practice to learn how to work together in our families. Just like it takes a lot of training to make a dog into a good member of a dog sled team. Keep asking Jesus to help you honor your parents and live in harmony with your brothers and sisters and see what a difference it makes. Join us again next time as we learn more about the Bible. Marriage was made by the Lord from above Back when the world began